Hey everybody, we are teaching Gravity Sketch. Now we're going to look at the next level of subdivide, which uses subdivide levels to make smooth curves out of our hard, sharp-edged shapes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do our subdivided cube like we did in the first lesson. So I'm going to bring up my primitive shapes and make sure it's subdivided. So when I draw my cube, I can edit it and it's got my control points. I've got the circle control point so I can move things. I can grab a face and make extra pieces. I can move these around. So let's make this sort of a, oops, stop that. Here we go, something that's slightly not cubical anymore. In fact, let's edit this and bring these pieces together. Whoops, stop that. Bring these pieces closer together. Stop that. There we go. There we go. So now we've got a little more of an interesting geometric shape here using our standard subdivision principles. So we've taken a cube and we've added more faces and edges so we can shape it however we want. But as you can see, it's still sharp edges, hard corners. So to really take advantage of subdivision, these corner points and edges, I'm going to edit this shape with a blue button, but now I'm going to add our subdivision levels here. The more levels you add, the smoother and rounder these shapes become. But they still use our corners, our control points, our edges, and our faces, edge, 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 face, face, still uses those for our round shape. So I'm going to take my lovely cube here, uncube, and we're going to add our first level of subdivision. So you can see it's still got some corners. It still has some points, but overall it's a much rounder, smoother shape. Sublevel zero, sublevel one. So if I start raising this sublevel, you can see how at maximum level, it's pretty much an egg shape, perfectly round on all sides, no corners left. Sublevel two, subdivision level two, there's still a few corners in here. This polygon shape is a little less processor heavy than the full round version. But the full round division is best for soft organic types of shapes. But now you can see I can still grab the control points in order to give this organic shape the shape I want. I'm even going to grab a whole bunch of control points and stretch it out. Let's put those a little closer. This time I'm going to use my fall off. So I'm only going to grab a couple of them, but then let the others stretch a little more organically. There we go. So you can see how it's a very smooth, natural shape. I can even grab and bend and twist, and it's still going to try to keep whatever these organic shapes I've come up with. Nice and smooth. I'm going to keep this smooth shape, but now we're going to go back to the lower levels of subdivision so you can see those angles, you can see those edges. I'm going to turn smoothing off completely, and now we're back to our original just sharp edges. So even at the smoothest egg shapiest version, I still have faces and things to draw from. Now, depending on what you want to control and move, as you move your thumb button up and down, that's what controls our grabby size. If I move it left and right, see that little pyramid at the top of my controller? As I move left and right, it turns blue and white. The blue part is what you can grab. So with a whole pyramid blue, I could grab a face, I could grab an edge, I could grab another edge, I could grab individual control points, I can grab any component. But for more control, now only that top corner is blue. I can only grab corners. I cannot grab edges or faces. Only the blue lines, only grabbing edges. 
white edges but blue faces, only grabbing faces. But it's still our smooth organic shape. All pieces. Now I can see the dotted lines and the circles and the faces, so I can grab whatever falls inside my grabby sphere. So subdivision levels add more and more smooth organics to your shape. There's still a lot more going on under the hood here, but that's enough to now not only can you make sharp objects like machines and robots, but now we can start bringing in organic shapes that we can play with, bean bags and curves of, of like a modern car, or maybe I'm trying to make an animal like a dragon or just a fish. Subdivision levels are how I can make the object go from sharp and pointy all the way to as smooth and rounded as I like. That's the next level of using subdivision on our objects. And we've got a lot more things to play with when it comes to subdividing. But I think that gives you enough to play with. So let us know in the comments if you have any questions or if things aren't quite working for you. We do this all the time here at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. And we want to let you get good with Gravity Sketch. So feel free to link us to your favorite objects. Feel free to post any questions. We'll see you next time. Have fun, everybody.